Hello everyone, this is our Dickless Mad Dancer and it's my last play of Odin Spear Part 7 and we have to go oh, save both nice. from Lord Brigand because if we don't, nobody will. And hello Mirius, we're gonna keep on going because I have a lot of things to talk about. Here's my HP and Cypher level, as you can see I leveled up quite a bit and that's not a lot. Well, let's get to the other screen. Lots of new items to mess around with in the next area. Definitely buy a warmer from the merchant, and you might want to buy a small bag from him as well. And that will only cost you 30 gold, and the warmer 6 gold. I went overboard, so I bought two of them. I should probably buy another one, but I'm like, well, you know, I'll make do with the five empty spaces that I have, because most likely, you know, I'll make some more stuff or eat some more stuff and uh, I love it up mainly by using yogurt and just gorging on food mostly eating muggle fruit or things like that and uh, I would definitely make some painkillers for the boss battle with Lord Brigand it'll definitely help out and uh, napalms you definitely want to make some of these because the area is going to be cold as you might I guess by the fact that we need a warmer and uh, I did love enough level up enough to get uh, a different Foson magic attack or whatever you want to call it it's a Foson burst and that will be a very useful one for the next area cyclone really isn't very good as it was in the first two areas but that's okay um, the Foson burst takes up two Foson gauges or you know I don't even know if I'm you know calling it correctly but I'm sure you guys kind of know what I'm saying right and uh, of course I went to the area we were last in and you can now get this juggler in the very far right bottom stage if that makes any sense and I believe you can get this as many times as you want and it changes items on the ground into different items so that's really interesting and I want to experiment with that and I'll probably talk about that a little bit later but uh, yeah lots of lamb chops I definitely want to make or grow some varmint seeds or sheep seeds because they are definitely awesome if you ask me and uh, yeah I believe that's about it we, we have everything we're probably gonna need and uh, probably more so yeah, let's get going. Otosama. Ano hito, Belbeto to you hitoa. Otosama ni tote. Son nani tokbets nano deska. Ano koa, itoshkata ojuri kyutsida. Mata ushina unoka. Gwendori sangare. Well, so much for that. No, Gwendolyn, don't bow down to him. It's all his fault for everything happening. It's all his fault for Griselda dying and, and Velvet being taken to be sacrificed to Wagner. It's like, how is it his fault? Because he promoted Lord Brigand to a higher position, so he had control of troops. And then obviously, he's not going to risk his hide to you know, in battle, so Chris Zelda was all on her own without the extra help of the troops, so obviously she died, and then, you know, I figure that, that Odin, it's like, the only reason he has him around because, oh, you know, Lord Brigand is just like me, he's a super douche, and I have to make sure that doucheness is spread around, so I'll Promote him to a high position. I'm sure it won't be backstabbed at any point in time. I'll be okay. We have to stick together, us douchey guys. So, of course, Gwendolyn is gonna go save Velvet for the absolutely wrong reason. But what do you expect from her? But, you know, at least we get to save Velvet.
Okay, and we're back with the last mid-boss battle. We have three mid-boss battles in this area, and this one's different from the other two. And we're going against the desecrated souls, but we have to go find them first. So there you are. I don't like how he doesn't appear right away. I mean, the game lies to us. I don't know, he's kind of like a ghost or whatever, and he has blue teeth. He's quite strange. But I'm not gonna use a Fozon Burst, or at least I'm gonna try not to. I should be able to defeat him just fine with these two Napalms. Of course, I'm gonna have to hit him a few times. But, you know, it, it won't take too long, I'm sure. Again, as you can see, let those angry snowflakes at, out at you. And as long as you don't get too close to him, or or fly over him. He won't have a tantrum, but as you can see, I stayed too long. I was trying to get him before he can complete his little spell or whatever it is, but I guess he didn't get to complete it because I'm dizzy now. But you can butt him as to get out of that. Oh no. Okay, he didn't damage me then because everyone else was. But there we go, he's dead and we just have two yetis, or small yetis to get rid of. Let's put a sheep seed down, because we still have to see that. And there we go, that was pretty simple, wasn't it? We're still gonna have bosons left over, so let's absorb those. Just look at those sheep, look at their stumpy little legs and their... their their expression that looks like they really don't want to be they just really don't want to be alive because they they run away from you because they know their food and I don't know I just find them entertaining so you just hit them a few times and they will turn into lamb chops oh, I need him one more time I think there we go so that, was, uh, that recovers 100 HP okay no I want and a 50 experience. So, I haven't really had to use, I haven't had to eat any of the, the lamb chops, but uh, they'll come in use for later, I'm sure. I think you can use, I think you use them in recipes as well. I can't wait till we get some recipes and sort of be able to cook and everything. I, I just like gathering a whole bunch of items that you need for recipes or alchemy. It's a lot of fun for me. So, I hope it's fun for you guys if you're thinking about buying this game or if you're just watching because you've already played it before. That's also good, but yeah, I definitely really like That's something that I like about it. And um, I'll deal with all this stuff and then I'll meet you at the cutscene for the boss battle. <laughs> I'll be a little bit quiet here. ルスで幸いどちらにせよ龍などと会う気はないがなお前の命などささげたところで龍がおとなしく宝を出すはずもあるまい帰ってこちらの命が危ういというもの何をするき。ここでお前は龍に殺されたそういうことになるのだ。このブリガン様のためにうわ。どうした逃げなさい。早く。死にたくなければ行くのです。I really love Lord Brickin as a character, as a villain. He just is one of the best characters in this game. I really can't say it enough good things about him. Oh, 
何も考え直すだろうよ王に徴用される戦士にこのような下人男がいようとはまずお前と遊んだ後にあの女を再び捕まえて生贄だ命乞いをしてみろ新たな王の長期として生かしてやらんでもないぞてやらんでもないぞ Do you guys think you can get away with seeing this cutscene and the boss battle? No way, you have to wait till the next part of Let's Play Odin Sphere. Have a great day. Bye.